We'd ask those juniors to take a step forward to be recognized. Second place junior in the class and also winning the production award is entry number 2827. Angel Advent Jessa Red, exhibited by Brittany Hill of Bristol, Vermont. First junior in the class and also placing third in the open show is entry number 2828, Ms. Del Hollow Javent Red, exhibited by Kyle Natsky and Kyle Demmer of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Our Bread Known Award winner is entry number 2824. Cleland Advent Corey Red, exhibited by Jim and Vicki Cleland of Clinton, Wisconsin. Now our open show placings. As we mentioned, placing third in the class, entry number 2828, Ms. Del Hollow Javent Red, exhibited by Kyle Natsky and Kyle Demmer of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Second in the class is entry number 2823, Angela Advent Orchid Red, exhibited by Milky Way Dairy, Alcester, South Dakota. And winning the class and also named Best Utter is entry number 2829, Starmark Ad Hot Stuff Red, exhibited by Nathan Thomas, Mike Heath, and Will Yeager of North Lewisburg, Ohio. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Burdett, your comments. Well, we talked about the four-year-old class, but the five-year-old class might be even better as you go down the line. Just a beautiful group of cows here, and what a stylish, pretty feminine frame cow we have to start the class. A cow that comes out here, she grabs your attention right away. She's high style when she's out on the move. You love that high arch to her back, the big spring to her rib. She's super clean and dairy from end to end, and she's got that beautiful mammary system. Just a little longer in her forearder, a little fuller, a little nicer turn right to the top of the rear other than her extremely well-balanced cow following in here in second. Cow in second, a cow exemplifies dairy strength. You love that width and openness she possesses from end to end. A cow that when you get her out here on the move, she's got a little more stretch from end to end, just a touch bit cleaner the whole way through, a little wider through those hooks and pins than another well-balanced cow following in third. Cow in third, just a super square frame cow, a beautiful legged cow when you get her out here. We give her the advantage today, a little more bloom to her mammary system, just a little more bloom to her hide the whole way through over another really well-balanced cow following in fourth. Cow in fourth, maybe not the most mature cow in the class, but she follows that pattern. She's got that uphill run, the beautiful drape and openness to her rib. A cow that you like the snugness to the mammary system. Just a little bit snugger at the forward her attachment, carries her udder a little higher there, right at the top of the rear udder. Then her beautiful dairy frame cow coming out here in fifth. Cow in fifth, you love the tremendous length she has from end to end here. Just a little more overall stretch, a little harder right through the mid region of her back. Ever recently fresh cow coming out here in six. Cow in six, you love that beautiful capacity to the rear udder. Just needs a little more time to get on up the line today.